Hello, and welcome to the high school awards program online. Typically, the Thursday before the last day of school, which is always a Friday, we meet in the Nisam gym for the high school awards ceremony. That happens annually, standard. However, this year is unique in that we are having an online virtual ceremony due to the COVID-19 pandemic that has impacted the entire world. March 13th was the last day we saw students face to face before we had to send them back to their own homes where they remain. I know the students felt disjointed. Similarly, teachers, staff, and myself felt the same way, so we understand. But we've continued to truck on ahead. I want to commend all the staff and students for continuing to be engaged in academics, learning through virtual platforms despite the situation. I just can't express how much I applaud you. Today, I want to honor the students who have achieved various successes throughout the school year. First, second, and third quarters remain the same. There are awards for honor roll, perfect attendance, and positive behavior. Fourth quarter, took place virtually. That's why it doesn't include the aforementioned awards. We will also recognize third quarter honor roll as well as full year honor roll. The certificates I typically hand out will be mailed to your homes. You should receive them sometime the week of June 15th. So make sure you're watching the mail. I want to take this moment to remember our beloved high school teacher, Michael Coates, who passed away this past winter. Let's pause to remember him. Now for the academic awards. We will recognize the accomplishments of honor roll, perfect attendance, and perfect attendance for third quarter and the entire school year are on the same slides. The names denoted with an asterisk means the student maintained that for the entire year. Congratulations to all of the students. Attendance is a vital piece of one ed one's education. By attending school every day, you are able to increase your wealth of knowledge there is research and statistics that prove that. It's important that you attend school because it will impact your life. Again, I emphasize attendance is crucial. If school is in session, don't just say, eh, whatever, I don't need that. No, continue to show up. Now I will recognize the students on the honor roll for third quarter as well as the entire year. The entire year consists of first, second, and third quarters only. Congratulations to these students. Again, the students' names denoted with an asterisk means third quarter honor roll and the entire year honor roll. Congratulations to you for continuing to work hard. To be on the honor roll, students must maintain a 3.0 GPA or above. Wow, honor roll shows your serious motivation and perseverance for education. Education takes discipline. You have to focus, complete your homework, attend classes, engage in discussion. Those students have demonstrated all of those qualities. Congratulations. Moving on from the academic awards, we will recognize students for various other things. The first award is for art presented by Susan Depore. Hello. I'm Susan DePore, the art teacher. And today I will present the high school art awards. I wanted to let you know, this was not an easy decision. I teach four high school art classes and there are many wonderful artists within those classes. It wasn't easy to just pick a few names. I really had to think about it. I tell all of my students they are amazing. 
I enjoy working with each and every one of you. So I did pick three students to be recognized for art awards. The first one is honorable mention. This student did a complete 180. Wow, and has improved so much. I'm so impressed with this student. This award goes to Molly Bracken. The next two students will be recognized for outstanding artwork. These students are hard workers who show amazing skills. Both of these students have a lot of potential for their futures. You both really take art seriously. Wow. There's two students I want to recognize and give these awards to are Valentina Camino and Daviana Daniels. Congratulations to all three of these students for your outstanding participation in high school art. Remember, all of you art students are amazing. Don't give up. Keep moving forward in your art endeavors every day, every week, every month, every year. It's so important. Thank you. Bye. Hi there. I'm here for another art award called the Most Dedicated Art Student Award. I wanted to recognize a student who was involved in all four high school art electives, including an independent study. She was also motivated to do a work study assignment during my art classes. I see the student's full commitment and entire focus on a future related to art. This student was involved in both in and out of the classroom. She was involved in two large group mural projects and had a high level of motivation in each one. When Nancy Rourke, a deaf Devia artist, came to WSD last fall, this student assisted with painting the piano along with the class. This student shows awesome leadership she is an awesome role model, willing and able to help other students with their art. The student shows great attention to detail, always wanting her artwork to be perfect, which results in beautiful works of, artist, of art. This award goes to a student who has true commitment and dedication to art, Tao Yi Dalman. Next year, Tao plans to go to RIT and major in art or graphic design. Congratulations. I wish you all the best in your future. Bye. A special thanks goes to those art students last fall who made the giant mural in the link. They worked together for three months to complete this mural depicting the four seasons. There's a section for summer, spring, fall, and winter. The students also embedded signs within the mural. This special thanks goes to Dana, Jaden, Valentina, Sierra, Marina, Tao Yi, Molly, and their team leader, Daviana. Many thanks to all of you students. Next, we will recognize the Marine Jean Phillips Awards. 
These included ASL poetry, storytelling, and deaf art. Congratulations to the students. Heather Martins will present the Marie Jean Phillip Awards. Hey! In the fall, we recorded uh, students' ASL stories for those who wanted to be involved in the competition. A few students did place for second, third, but we sent one student who had just found out won first place for the national competition. Madison Bongard won first for her ASL storytelling on the topic of deaf bing or deaf tendencies. Congratulations to Madison Bongard for winning first place. Hi everyone, I'm Becky Apple, and I'm the yearbook teacher. I would like to recognize my five students who have worked so hard on finishing this year's yearbook. Soon we will be done. I'm so excited for that. It was a challenging this year. It was a challenging year because coronavirus made us work from home so we couldn't take pictures. Many events and activities were canceled. It was definitely a challenge, but these girls worked tirelessly to complete our beautiful yearbook. The five students are Quinty, Quinn, Madison, Tabitha and Faith. They each will receive a free yearbook for their hard work. We would like to thank everyone who has helped us. Parents, students, teachers, staff have all contributed many wonderful pictures and video clips. We're thrilled and we're trying to incorporate everything into the book. We will use a lot of QR codes so the pictures could become a slideshow and you can view the video clips. It will be a mix up of a little bit of each. I'm excited to have a great book. It's a huge challenge and a huge contribution from all of you. Thank you for helping us. I'm looking forward to the fall when we can hand them all out. Thank you. Next are the Community Service Awards. It is important to be involved in one's local community and school to help serve others. Serving not only gives to others, but gives to the individual as well. Lance Welgen Jr. will present these awards. Hello. I'm excited to recognize these students for the Community Service Award. My name is Lance Welgen Jr. and I am the social worker at WSD. Within my job responsibilities is monitoring the community service hours. I love that part of my job. To graduate from WSD, students have different requirements, including community service hours to be completed during their four years of high school. Students need a total of 32 hours with appropriate documentation and signed forms of activities completed. I check with the appropriate people to verify, then the hours are marked as complete. Plus, these students also follow the community service guidelines and definitely deserve our recognition. Students who volunteer at least 32 hours will receive gray cords to wear with their graduation gowns. This indicates their hard work and dedication to the community and giving to others. Now I would like to recognize the four students. The first student is Tabitha. Congratulations. Thank you for giving so much to your community. Congratulations. 
Madison, congratulations. Thank you for your gift to the community. Congratulations. Tao, congratulations. Thank you for giving to your community. Congratulations. Montero, congratulations. Thank you for giving to your community. Congratulations. I hope you all have a good summer and good years ahead of you. Please let me know what you're doing in the future. Take care. Bye-bye. We have a formal organization at the school called National Honor Society, NHS. To be part of this organization, character, service, and commitment are important. Becky Eppel will recognize these students. Hello, I'm Becky Eppel, and I am the advisor for National Honor Society, NHS, at WSD. I have a few awards to hand out. First, I want to recognize the two seniors we have this year. Seniors are Madison Bongard and Tao Yi Dolman. These two ladies will graduate this year. When they rock across the stage for graduation, they will have four different things they will wear. The four things will represent the four pillars of NHS. The pillars are academics, leadership, character, and community service. The students will wear a white stole, which is also called a hood, um, a medal, gold cords, and a blue and gold tassel. These items represent the four beliefs and pillars of NHS. I also have other awards to give out to our five officers. They will receive um, a few things, an emblem and a pin. The emblem represents the organization itself. It is a white patch that you can sew onto a coat or sweater or just have it as a decoration. They will also receive a pin that will indicate which position they held this year. Our five positions are president, served by Madison Bongard, vice president, served by Katie McClyman, the third is secretary, served by Tao Yi Dolman, fourth is a treasurer served by Daviana Daniels. And fifth is the historian served by Caitlin Bookman. We also have an award for our new members. We will have four new members and they will receive a membership card and certificate. They will also be in the newspaper press release article in their hometown and community. Later in the fall or the spring, we will host a banquet. 
The new members include Valentina Camino, Marissa Lagao, Caden Rawlings, and Caleb Zapadinsky. Thank you. The next award is for positive behavior, which goes to students who have demonstrated the Firebird promise of safety, caring, responsibility, and respect. We want those traits to be burning inside you so you can soar like a firebird. To earn this positive behavior award, the students cannot have a student reflection time, SRT, or no school suspension, in school suspension for third quarter. The student names with an asterisk have met those requirements as well as for first and second quarters. Congratulations to these students. The next awards are from the dorms and student life. WSD would be incapable of functioning without the dorm's involvement. Yes, school is important, but the dorm is where you spend the night when your home is too far away. We couldn't be successful without them. We want to recognize the high school boys on B4 and the high school girls on G4. Daryl Dilly and Leela Fitchett will present these awards. Congratulations to the students. Okay, so the award for most valuable person, the MVP award is Daviana. She is very independent, friendly, and goal oriented. She is focused and will work hard on whatever she is doing. She is very empathetic, which is a very important quality to have. She is always willing to help support friends and staff and give them positive feedback. She's skilled at using humor to help others. If someone needs help, Daviana is right there, always. Congratulations, Daviana. The next award is for the most exceptional person. And that goes to Michaela Weaver. She is happy, sociable, and very responsible. Staff never need to remind her to do anything. She has a happy personality. She enjoys sharing laughs with both friends and staff. She always has a smile on her face. Congratulations, Michaela. The third award is for most improved, and that goes to Larissa. She is very curious, always wanting to learn and understand. She enjoys socializing and has the energy for it. She will always participate in different activities, and her self-regulation skills are greatly improving. If people have feedback, Larissa is becoming more willing to listen and accept that feedback. Congratulations, Larissa. Hey, I'm Daryl Dilly, and I work on B4 in the dorm. I have two awards, Most Outstanding and Most Improved. The most outstanding award goes to a student who, in the fall, he really showed us how great he is right as he joined WSD. He's very independent, very respectful. He obeys the rules. He listens and has good time management. Wow, we are just blown away by Noah. Congratulations, Noah. And for the most improved award, Boy, staff had a long discussion about how much this student has improved 
from not, not just freshman year, but from middle school until now. Every year he shows improvement bit by bit regarding his chores, communication with other students, socializing, and showing who he is. This award goes to Andy. Congratulations. The next award is the Salutatorian Award. During a graduation ceremony, there are two unique positions. One is the valedictorian, and the second is the salutatorian. The valedictorian is the student with the best GPA in the school, 3.5 or above. The high school board votes on these two, who these two individuals are. The salutatorian is a student with the second best GPA, 3.5 or above. Both students are honored by wearing a medal and each will give a graduation speech tomorrow. The honor for the salutatorian goes to Tao Yi Dolman. Congratulations. Now, the student with the top GPA and the highest honor who has shown hard work all throughout their education. The honor of valedictorian goes to Madison Bongard. Congratulations. This concludes this year's high school awards program. I would like to make a few remarks before I close. With COVID-19, everything turned topsy-turvy. Students had to stay home. Maybe they felt isolated. Maybe they weren't sure what was going on or how to work with their families. It's important that with this situation, for you to look inside yourself and at who you are. Look at how your values grow. Values regarding family, friends, and WSD. COVID-19 didn't put everything on hold. It gave us the opportunity to know, grow, and soar, which is our school motto. You have to look inside of yourself to know yourself. You grow with knowledge and developing identity. With those two things, you are then able to soar. Thank you, WSD, for helping us do that this year. This summer, as, take this summer as an opportunity to continue knowing, growing, and soaring so you can become a soaring firebird. The next part uh, is a video slideshow of various staff members who work with the high school students. Enjoy. Have a great summer, stay safe, caring, responsible, and respectful, as well as healthy. Summer is a time for you to enjoy. I will see you next year when school starts. Miss you. Be bold enough to use your voice or hands, brave enough to listen to your heart, and strong enough to live life the way you've always imagined. Hey, have a great summer, stay safe, and I hope to see you in the fall. Bye-bye. Oh, I hate online classes. Ooh, enjoy your summer. Have a safe summer. Have a great summer. See you in the fall. Stay safe and wash your hands. Take care. Hey there, I miss seeing all of you. I hope you all have a great summer. Take care of yourselves. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the fall. Take care, bye-bye.
You all are amazing. You pushed through and finally made it. You experienced a new way of learning. And it's done now. Congratulations. Now starts your summer break. Enjoy your summer break. Be safe. Be healthy. Hope to see you in the fall. And don't forget to do artwork throughout the summer. Hey, hey, all right, all right. Wave hands, wave hands, yeah. Bye-bye, good luck. Have a great summer. Stay healthy and safe and especially active. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Congratulations. I want to say that. I'm making through a tough year like this. Congratulations. See you in the fall. Take care. Hi, all. Whoa. You stuck it out and you finally made it through. You did it. Have a good summer. See you again soon. Bye-bye. Have a good summer. See you in the fall. Hey, I just wanted to say that I'll see you in the fall. Uh, I hope to see you soon. I miss you. Sounds good. We will miss you. Have a great summer. Stay safe, okay? Take care. Hi there. Be safe and enjoy your summer. And don't forget to keep reading. Go on and pick up a book. <laughs> Bye. Hi, all. Have a wonderful summer. I hope to see you in the fall. Bye. Have a good summer break. I'm going to see you soon. Have a good summer. See you later. I miss all of you. I can't wait to see you until you come back in the fall. Take care. Be healthy, be safe, be peaceful. Have a wonderful summer. I miss you. Hi. Have a wonderful summer. Enjoy and be safe. Take care. Hey, congratulations on surviving this odd, crazy school year. Stay safe. Stay healthy, right on, love y'all. Hey, you finished the 2019-2020 school year. Congrats, now it's summer. Take the time to enjoy, learn, explore, and rest. Don't forget to read some books, bye. Hello, have a great summer, I will miss you. Hi, 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 everyone. I just wanted to tell you I miss you. I look forward to seeing all of you in the fall. I hope you enjoy your summer. Have a lot of fun. Learn something new. Enjoy your family. Do something cool. Have an awesome summer. Enjoy the weather outside. Go mill about outside and play around. Bye. See you in the fall. I miss all of you. Can't believe school is finished and summer is here. Whoa, baby. Remember the WSD Firebird motto of safety, caring, responsibility, and respect? You have a good summer and see you in the fall. All right? Woohoo!